All right, an object falls. It's Ke, its kinetic energy always does. Does it decrease, increase, or stay the same? Let's take a look at this object. Uh, we use a ball, a red ball. So this ball starts off there. And it starts off with, we'll say, oh, a really small velocity. We'll say that's the starting velocity. And then sometime later it goes, boo, down, it falls. And then down here it ends up with some large velocity. What's done on this object as it descends? Work. Work is force times distance. So the work is the force acting on it, mg, because it's free falling times the distance travels, well we'll call that the change in height. So hey, the work is the change in potential energy, it's losing potential energy, but it's gaining Ke. So really, this is extra information, but we'll write the formula for Ke. Ke is one half mv squared. So did this object have mass? Sure it did, it has mass. And it also had velocity, and its velocity changes as time went on because it, work was done on it by the gravity force. And if work is done, or if a force acts in the direction of its height change, the work is positive. Positive work will cause an increase in velocity, so one reason that the kinetic energy is, the answer is by the way going to be B is because the work is positive. Another one is that if you increase velocity, if we increase one variable on one side in the numerator, we have to increase the other. And by the way, the mass stays the same, so the kinetic energy increases in this case. If it were going in the opposite direction, free falling, the only force acting on it were gravity, it would be losing kinetic energy.